Welcome to Unveiling the Struggle, a series that aims to shed light on the profound challenges faced by rural communities around South Africa. In this episode, we embark on a journey to Bushbuck Ridge, a region grappling with the harsh realities of rural poverty and the resilient spirit of its people. Bushbuck Ridge, situated in the northeastern part of South Africa, is the home to a vibrant population that has inherited a rich cultural heritage. However, beneath the surface lies an invisible battle against poverty and limited access to resources that keeps its residents trapped in a cycle of struggle. The notions of poverty have been a point of discussion for many years. The origination of strategies for poverty reduction results from the formulation and definition of poverty. The conceptualization and definitions of poverty can be understood in different ways. According to May, poverty is explained as not being able to secure the minimum basic standard of living, which is calculated in terms of the fundamental utilization of income or needs required to fulfill them. However, the notion of poverty is multidimensional. Furthermore, poverty can relate to other aspects like insecurity, inadequate education, and healthcare, insufficient jobs which pay adequately, lack of infrastructure, and powerlessness. The question is what makes people poor? Answers to these question reflect analyst disciplinary backgrounds, theoretical commitments, and political judgments. Many mainstream economists are likely to conceptualize the solution in terms of assets, endowments, responses to stochastic shocks affecting the household's capacity to use these assets, and conditions in the local national, and international economy. They contend that while temporary poverty may result from an inability to handle shocks, chronic poverty may be brought on by a lack of assets and an inability to convert those assets into income. Longer-term factors that affect poverty include assets accumulation and depletion, initial circumstances, the effects of repeated shocks, and non-reversibilities in the welfare trajectories of households, as well as the effects of long-term secular trends in their economy. Although these conceptual tools have great potential, it is easy for them to overlook or even obscure significant aspects of poverty generation in generalized analysis of risk context and economic trends. This method of thinking ignores the fact that many of the external environment's most important aspects are frequently shaped by systematic factors, especially unequal power relation. Therefore, it is not always best to think of the shocks that poor people experience as stochastic. Instead, they are subject to a number of circumstances that make them vulnerable all time. Moreover, the functioning of labor and product markets, people's access to skills, information, and social network, norms governing resource, use both inside and outside the home, and gender power relations both inside and outside of households, all influence people's ability to acquire higher assets and their capacity to convert them into income. Resource use is 
significantly influenced by household structures and relationships, including whether households are unitary, cooperative, or fragmented. Such factors are likely to be considered obvious starting points for sociologists and anthropologists to analyze poverty. It will be difficult for them to firmly establish this analysis in a grasp of political economy at the local, national, and international level. Let's deep dive into understanding rural poverty in South Africa. One of the biggest problems facing the world today is poverty, which is broadly defined as a lack of resources opportunities and options, and South Africa is not exempt from this problem. According to Statistics South Africa, which was done in 2017, the country's poverty rate is still high at approximately 55.5%, with the majority of the poor, which is 53.5%, living in rural areas. An attempt to understand rural poverty will fall short if historical politics are not considered to explain the social dynamics of rural poverty in South Africa. Rural poverty is frequently discussed in the development literature as if it were a unique phenomenon that could be understood independently of general dynamics of economic growth. From this point of view, rural poverty is a result of an overall economic growth deficit. However, in South Africa, they arise from a particular type of growth, a skewed and exclusive form of development that is fooled by fundamental elements of the economic structure and the regulatory environment, not from a growth deficit. In essence, it can be noted that the common constituent of poverty is having insufficient assets needed for survival. Moreover, this further explains that poverty can be perceived as when communities, households, or individuals are not able to meet the requirements of the minimum standard of living, which are accepted by society. Here are some of the several interconnected factors contributing to rural poverty in South Africa. Firstly, we have historical Injustice. The legacy of apartheid with its discrimina discriminatory land policies and forced removals has resulted in unequal access to resources and opportunities for rural communities, particularly for the majority black population. Secondly, we have limited economic opportunities. Rural areas often lack diverse economic activities and suffer from underdeveloped infrastructure, inadequate access to markets, and limited job opportunities. The reliance on subsistence farming and traditional industries further limits income generation. Thirdly, we have land inequality. Land ownership patterns remain highly skewed in rural areas, with large-scale commercial farms dominating the agricultural sector. Many rural residents have limited access to land, preventing them from engaging in productive farming and perpetuating a cycle of poverty. 
Rural poverty in South Africa is marked by various money manifestations. The first one creates food insecurity. Limited access to nutritious food and inadequate agricultural practices result in chronic insecurity among rural populations. Malnutrition and stunted growth are prevalent, especially among children. The second one we have lack of basic services. Rural communities often face inadequate access to essential services such as health care, education, clean water, and sanitation facilities. This hampers human capital development and increases poverty. The third one we have unemployment and underemployment. Rural areas experience high levels of unemployment and underemployment with limited job opportunities beyond traditional agricultural activities. This leads to persistent income inequalities and reliance on social grants. The impact of rural poverty on rural livelihoods are far-reaching and have multifaceted consequences. The first one, we have migration and urbanization. Rural poverty drives migrations to urban areas in search of better opportunities. This can lead to the depopulation of rural communities, weakening social cohesion and depleting local talent and skills. Secondly, we have social exclusion and inequality. Rural poverty increases social inequalities, leading to marginalization and limited social mobility. Lack of access to education and health care further entrenches these inequalities, creating a cycle of poverty that is difficult to break. Thirdly, we have limited income and asset accumulation. Poverty restricts individuals' ability to acc accumulate wealth and assets, hindering their capacity to invest in education, healthcare, and income-generating activities. This perpetuates intergenerational poverty and limits upward mobility. Fourthly, we have environmental degradation. Poverty often compels rural populations to engage in unsustainable practices such as overgrazing and deforestation. To meet immediate needs, this contributes to environmental degradation, further compromising rural livelihoods and increasing poverty in the long run. Let's deep dive into understanding poverty in bush populations. According to the Bushbuck Ridge Local Municipality 2022-2023 Integrated Development Plan, the municipality is characterized by inadequate access to service, unemployment, and rural nature, extreme poverty rates, backlog of uh, service delivery, and illiteracy. In 1994, we were promised a government that is committed to creating a people-centered society of liberty, binds us to the pursuit of the goals of freedom from want, freedom from hunger, freedom from deprivation. However, there are still places that are still deprived, most especially rural areas of former to stands. Since 1994, a variety of programs and strategies have been initiated by the government to alleviate poverty and improve livelihoods. Despite from these programs, 
it is evident that the reference to the Bush Park Ridge Local Municipality 2022-2023 IDP, that poverty is still persistent in Bush Park Ridge Local Municipality. We will also deep dive into understanding rural poverty and livelihoods in what they refer in Bush Park Ridge. The poor in South Africa's rural African communities have traditionally been characterized by a variety of activities that are intertwined with urban opportunities. South Africa's rural livelihoods today are characterized by persistent racialized and special legacies of poverty. As part of my research, I'll focus on what they refer in Bush Park Ridge. According to what the maps 2016, the population of the rural area is 13,284 and the average annual household income is 7,200. Furthermore, the employment rate is 15% with most people employed in the informal sector. Small scale, low input, agro-pastoral, farming techniques are permitted in the region. Home and communal gardens are used for cultivation, which is most, mostly done for domestic consumption. Cattle have a significant trading value and are utilized for milk, manure, and draft functions. Some households nevertheless own enough cattle to support themselves regularly. The usual mix of household income includes local wages, migrant remittances, old age pensions, and small scale business income. In conclusion, this, in this episode, we fostered a deeper understanding of rural poverty and livelihoods, not only in South Africa, but also in Bushback Ridge and what they refer in Bushback Ridge. Thank you.